everyone, so it's the end of the month, which means it is time for my monthly beauty favorites. I have quite a few, and I actually have a few random favorites. I don't have those every single month, but I, this month I have a few. And if y'all like those and want to kind of see more, then I can do that. I don't, I like them, but if y'all don't, that's okay. I'm not going to be offended. So let's just get into it. I have one nail polish favorite this month. Um, can y'all see Kangle walking around back there? She's, I just got home, and when I first get home, she's like a crazy person. So, um, as y'all may or may not know, I am doing my Project Polish this month. So, um, this is from before my Project Polish, but from now on, I'll probably only be mentioning things that are like my accent nails, just because everything else will be from the same six polishes. But that's okay. We're not hating. Um, but it's this one. And now this is, I think they still make this. Nicole by OPI has so many different, like, lines and stuff, and I don't know if things are limited edition or not. So, I'm just going to assume it's not. Hopefully it's not. This is Nicole by OPI. It's the Gumdrops collection. And as you can see, it does say that on there. And it is a texture polish. And this is in the shade Anise Treat. I believe is how you say it. Or Anise Treat. It's A-N-I-S-E. They do lots of dashes. And then Treat. I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. But there it is. Um, but this is just like a black polish with this silver glitter in it. And there's a lot of glitter. It looks just like this on the nails, which I really like. I like to have a full-on glitter nail. I know I'm 22 years old, but hey, I still like to do it. So I really like that for this. Um, and I just think it's a really cool, pretty look that's different than, you know, your everyday average black nail polish. But it's not so crazy. It's not like a neon pink glitter. So it's not like... Like, it's kind of more subdued. Like, you could get away with this a lot more than, like, something a lot brighter, if that makes sense. I hope that does. All right. Um, I have one base favorite, and it came in my birch box. And I can tell you that this sample is not going to last me too long, even though I am working on my Maybelline Fit Me foundation because it's in my 15 and 15. Um, but this is amazing. It is the Dr. Jart Plus BB Beauty Balm. It has an SPF of 45, which is a wonderful all year round. It is a beautiful, sunny, amazing day today. I do live in Florida. I'm moving back to Georgia in May. But still, you need sunscreen. You need sunscreen no matter where you live. Excuse me? She's moving my whole bed. In case you don't know, I have a dachshund who's tiny, and she's moving my whole bed. I don't know what she's doing. We're just going to let her do her thing. Um, but it's got an SPF of 45, and it's so great with coverage now this I don't believe has a color so I'm not sure if it's a one color here you go if that's the case then if you have a very dark beautiful like rich mahogany ebony kind of skin tone um don't buy this it'll make you look ashy um but you put it on your skin and it looks kind of it looks even too light for me and kind of almost gray but you blend it in and it blends in perfectly. So I think it's got some of that color changing, you know. And it's so silky smooth. And can you tell the coverage? It's it's at least a medium coverage from a beauty uh, a BB cream, beauty balm, whatever. And that's amazing to me. I mean, that's so high coverage. It feels like a BB cream, so you don't feel it on your skin at all. Like, you would not notice that you have it on and... It's great, and I highly recommend it. And I know um, they obviously saw it at the Birchbox website, but they also saw this at Sephora. And maybe other places. That's just where I know you can get it. All right. Um, I have two lips, and then I have a bunch of eyes, because in case you don't know, eye makeup is by far my very favorite. Um, this is something I got in Ipsy Bag quite a while ago, and it's by Mika Beauty Cosmetics. Maybe it's Mika. Mika Beauty? Mika Beauty? I don't know. We're just going to go with it. And it's their Tinted Lip Balm in the shade number 6, Fiesta. Now, being called a tinted lip balm is kind of a misnomer, I'm not going to lie, because it's not very hydrating. You definitely need to put on a chapstick under it, and look at the pigmentation. When I think of a tinted lip balm, I think of something that has a very light tint. I'm afraid things aren't going to go over this very well because of that, but look at that color. It is matte on your lips, and it's a beautiful mauvey, pinky, purpley color. Um, it's bright. But not so bright that it's unwearable. Look at that. And that's exactly what it looks like on your lips. I was wearing this in a video recently. If I can think of the video, I'll link it down below. And I'll put like, this is where I'm wearing my lip product. 
but it's beautiful. Again, I put, what I do is I wake up every morning feeling like P. Diddy. And then, you know, I take a shower. I do my skincare routine, which is not that big of a deal, to be totally honest. Um, and I put on a chapstick. And then I start doing my, you know, my whole makeup routine, makeup, whatever I'm wearing that day. And then I put this one at the end. And it lasts. It's matte. I don't, I don't know what else you could want from this. It's just beautiful. Love that. This is such, such a surprise to me. This is a Bare Minerals gloss, not a Marvelous Moxie gloss. I don't know if they still make these, which is kind of an issue. Um, and if they don't, I'm sorry for mentioning it. But I had this forever and I thought I hated it. It was one of those things where I like, let me just show you. I'm gonna put a napkin, uh, like a, what do you call it? A washcloth right there in case it gets everywhere. I hope y'all are gonna be able to see this. It's so goopy coming out. You see all that strings of product? And it's got like kind of a plasticky smell. But it's so pigmented. It's got a brush applicator. But it's a nice brush applicator to where it just kind of hugs your lip line and looks really good. It doesn't make you look stringy. Can you not eat my slipper? Can that not be a thing? Uh, no, ma'am. Sorry. My dog's being crazy this morning. She's Now she's mad at me. But it's a beautiful peachy nude. And it does have some gold glitter in it. But the glitter, you can't feel it on your lips. And because it is, it's not like very sticky like you think it would be. Like I'm not like, and you know, you get the lip lines and all that gross stuff. It's not like that. But it has enough tack to where it stays around for a really long time. So pigmented that I don't think you need anything under it. I'm so glad I put that in my 15 and 15. Because if I wouldn't have, I wouldn't realize that I like it so much. And I really do really do so that was a nice surprise um next is this which is another thing that i got in my ipsy bag no this is an ipsy bag yes and it's from coastal sense now i have two coastal sense items in here i don't own anything full size or any well i guess this is full size but i've never bought anything from coastal sense but i'm liking what i've seen this is their liquid eyeliner in jet it's one of those potted liners like this and it's got a really nice fine tip applicator, but it's it's like a plastic applicator. So it is, it doesn't hurt and it applies really smoothly, but I know some people might not like that. But the good thing about a plastic applicator is it'll never fray or get messed up. And now I just want to show y'all, look at how black that is. And then let me do it back in because I put a lot of product on there. If you want like a really nice thin line, like, oh, I'm just a thin little delicate princess. And then you can do a really thick line. Y'all see that? It's just so pretty. I have so much control. Sorry, it was kind of dying out. But I have so much control. It's super black and pigmented. And let me tell you, girl, this stays. Like, I had this, I mean, I take showers, I wash my hands all of that and I had it on my hand for over 24 hours almost 48 but it's almost got it's not like latex where you can like where you can just peel it off but it, it comes off with I have um what I think is probably the best eye makeup remover um it's just the up and up uh eye makeup remover liquid it's one of those biphase oily liquid things I don't know well it's in this oil free so I don't know what that thing is magic and it came off really easily a lot easier than like the benefit push-up line or anything and it's so black and beautiful and I really like it and I believe it said it was $3.99 full price well okay I try not to let it set because it does take because like some you know it kind of takes a little while to set not like like if you you need to apply it and then kind of wait a second before you open your eyes up. Because I have hooded eyeliner, eyelashes sometimes it can get up there. But look, I mean, that's like scrubbing. And it, y'all, I mean, it was on there for less than a minute. So I'm all about it. Really highly recommend that. Alright, then I've got an eyeshadow base. Now, if you have been watching me, you know I love cream shadows. I've done a whole collection video about them. I'll link it below. Um, so, but I've added more since then but I got these um, from my Birchbox haul that I did where I kind of explained how the Birchbox point system works and I got some things I'll link that below as well 
Um, and these are the Ico London Fat Eye Sticks. And I it came in a set of three. And the one I really love, I love them all. I really do. But this one in satin. So it's kind of a chubby pencil. Look at this product. So, so much product. Um, and this just kind of looks, oh, it's just like a natural neutral color. But it's not. It's a purple, smoky, taupey gold with maybe some pink in it. That's how I'm going to describe that. It's got some shimmer. It's not a matte thing. But isn't that beautiful? And, uh, and then again, this did come in a set, and I like them all. This is the shade Gilded. No, Gilt. Which is another really unique goldy, greeny, browny shade. Well, throw it on the ground. I told y'all every single video I'm going to end up reaching down for something. I always do. Look at that. A, it's almost like an olive but it's got more brown and it's got some gold in it. It's just pretty. And then this one is the one in smoke, which has like almost a different texture than the other ones. It's thicker. So there you go. And these, I'm telling you, they last all day. I don't get any kind of creasing or anything. I don't wear a primer. If I'm gonna wear an eyeshadow base, I don't wanna have to wear a primer under it. I wanna be able to smack that base on and go. Um, and I can with these and they're just beautiful and highly pigmented stay all day I don't know what else you could want from it and I do really like the pencil format of it I think it's not going to dry out as quickly and I think it's just easier to apply all right now I have three eyeshadow palette -y things this is from the drugstore and it is awesome um this is the all my intense eye color shimmer eye kit powder shadow um in 421 trio for browns now they do have this for other eye colors i do have very dark almost black eyes um but i really like this and i feel like alme is really one of those brands that's just so overlooked from the little sponge tip applicator and this is not something like y'all know me and i really love color and bright and fun and vivacious things and this is not something that's really yells Becky you need this in your life but let me tell you it is awesome so this shade this big lid shade is so soft and creamy it almost feels like it's like a cream shadow then you have this really nice soft deep brown shade that is a smidge bit powdery and then you have a beautiful matte brow bone that is a little bit harder and kind of powdery but very pigmented that is the brow bone highlight I'm using today um, let me see I'm trying to yeah I'm trying to not swatch over all that mess that I did these are just so great now that that brow bone didn't pick up so well ow I just pinched my finger there they are this shade is a beautiful neutrally peach shade but it's almost like it's got duochrome in it. Like, I don't know if it's picking up, but it's like a goldy shade, but it's peach. And it's just really interesting on the lid. This brown is really nice to deepen up anything. But the matte brow bone highlight, I'm so sorry it doesn't swatch well. It's right there. But it's really not swatching well. And if, you, and if I saw those swatches, I'd be like, mm, really, girl? But on the brow bone it's great i really i like a very sparkly highlighted inner corner but a matte brow bone that's just what i prefer and this is a great matte brow bone so i really recommend this i'm not sure how much it is but it is from the drugstore so it's really easily accessible and i recommend it all right next i have something that is also from birchbox birchbox is girl i love birchbox so much let me just tell you um and this is the coastal scents revealed two palette sampler in the shade sunset so again some neutrals and you're like you don't like neutrals too much and I really honestly don't I mean like I like them I use them but it doesn't inspire me as much I mean y'all know my all-time holy grail favorite of a live palette is this baby the Kat Von D Esperanza palette like not a neutral in sight there but this is amazing and the thing that Unfortunately, because I don't, I mean, like, the palette has 20 shades, I think. 
like double line, but they don't have names, so I can't tell you which one this correlates. But the most surprising is this matte brown. And I know you're like, Becky, really? Of all of them? These are so soft and creamy. So soft and creamy. Those are the sparkly shades. They're not powdery. They're really not. And they're just so beautiful and pigmented. There is a gold here. It's really pigmented and pretty. It's just, it kind of blends in to my skin tone. But it's gorgeous. I think y'all can see it. And the thing that just blows me away is this guy. And then you swatch it and it just looks like a little bit of a cool tone, medium brown. But somehow, from the magic of makeup, it's got pink in it. Now, the Reveal 2, in case you don't know, is supposed to be like a dupe for the Naked 3. And the Revealed Original is like Naked 1 and Naked 2 combined. So it is a more pinky tone palette. Now, I just, I was using this one day and I put that through my crease, not really thinking anything of it, and I kept looking and it looked like I had brown and then I had like faded it up to a pink. And I had it, I mean, y'all know, I mean like I love makeup and I just do it, but I'm not like any kind of skilled, like I'm not a cosmetologist or anything, but it just, it just looked so gorgeous and like I had put so much effort and all this wonderful things in it and it was just this one shadow and so... I mean, this is in my 15 and 15 as well, and I've still got a lot of it because these aren't, I mean, these are like actual pans of shadows. They're not like those, like, cardboard things. So this has a lot of product in it, and I can get a lot of product out of those cardboard things too. Don't get me wrong, but um, this is awesome, and I highly recommend it, um, and I think once I use this up, I'm going to throw it on the ground, and I'm going to buy the original, I mean, like, the whole reveal too. Last but not least is something that is pretty surprising to me. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Maya Mia palette. Now, I have done a full review of it and I'll link it below. I'll link any kind of video I've mentioned that I think is relevant. It's all down in the description box as well as my makeup. Everything, I'm, I'm all about my description box being really full. And when I did my review, I was kind of underwhelmed. And when you swatch it, it's very underwhelming. It's not these amazing gorgeous shades and I believe from what I have heard um, I know Anastasia has come out with new single eyeshadows that are apparently just the bees knees and from what I have heard any shadow that's ever been in any of her palettes you can also buy single in her eyeshadow pans I hope that makes sense so which can save you money I mean their pans are pretty expensive and this palette was I believe $29 and it was also another thing I purchased with my Birchbox points. But um if you're like, you know, I'm not I'm not I don't need any of that, but that gold bar shade, let me tell you I need that. You could just buy that. But I used this and then I went to grab it again and then I went to grab it again and I went, Becky, you got too much makeup to only be grabbing one palette. So I I've ne I don't think I've ever had to stop myself from grabbing a palette. I mean, I probably have from my Kat Von D, but I just go, Becky, you, you make yourself happy. But look at, I mean, it's just a neutral palette. It is very warm toned. This Glisten shade is great. These are kind of disappointing. Oh, and it's one of those palettes that doesn't swatch well at all. Like, let me just give you some swatches. I really don't think it's that impressive. And then let's do vanilla. Like, you see them and you're like, that's it? Really? And it's not bad, but it's just not high-end makeup quality. But on the eyes, they're amazing. And you know, palettes aren't meant to be swatched. Palettes are meant to wear. And it's just beautiful. And I come up with so many good things. I'm not super inspired by this palette, but I, I've come up with quite a few looks I really like. So... I recommend this if you can still get it because I think it might be an addition. But again, you can get, as far as I know, you can get all of those colors in single shadow form. All right, and then I have a couple, like three, so a few actually, um, random favorites. One is something that's tangible. Now, I have a dachshund. I already mentioned her like a few times in this video. Her name is Kanga. She's asleep right now. I'm to wake her up. And I'm kind of obsessed with it. And I'm one of those dachshund people that likes to have dachshund stuff. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but these earrings my sister actually got me got them for me in Italy, um, they're dachshunds, and I found this at Target, and I said, oh, you're coming home with me, 
It's a gold dachshund tape dispenser. Like, I mean, have you seen anything cuter in your whole wide life? You probably haven't. I don't think you have. It's just so cute. And I sent a picture to my mom and sister and they're like, oh my gosh, I need that too. Because we're all crazy dachshund people. We just are. It's a part of our family. And I just think it's precious. And it was like $12.99. And it's hardy. I mean, it's, it doesn't feel like plastic. I think it's real metal. And it's real nice. I really like it. Then I have um, one movie favorite. And I know I'm so behind on this. And I didn't read the book. But um, at UF, they have a thing called Gator Nights. And at Gator Nights, you can, they play like a free movie every Friday night. And then they have free movies going on um, like throughout the week as well. But the free movie at the very beginning of January was Gone Girl. And I know that was really hyped and like a huge deal. But I just hadn't seen it, I, you know, just for whatever reason. And oh my goodness gracious, you need to go see it. It's definitely not for children. It's very intense. And like, there is one part where someone gets killed. That's all I'm going to say. And like literally... After it, the whole, it was so crazy and intense. And like, after, like, because it cut scene to something, like, really, like, subdued. Because, you know, that's how they do it. And the entire movie theater, which was jam-packed, let me tell you, just went, <sighs> it was crazy. And, like, like, it's one of those movies that you're just like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, the whole time. And then it gets over, and you just look at your friend, and you're like, what in the world? It's so good. Highly recommend it. And the third thing is another thing that's not necessarily child friendly and it is a youtuber who i have found and she cracks me up and i literally like highly highly anticipate all of her videos and it is young wild and polished here on youtube i know she has a real name and i can't think of it right now but she is awesome she cracks me up like nothing else she she has some bad language, um, which if you don't like that, don't go see her. I mean, she's not apologetic for it. Like, she's so herself. She is wonderful. But if, you know, if you don't like that, then don't go see her. But she is just hilarious. And I just, and she does, like, cutouts. Which is, like, the really high-pitched voice. You know, you can edit it. And, and I'm just, like, I die. Oh, my gosh. I just sit there and laugh and laugh and laugh. So, I really like her. She'll be linked below. All these products will be linked, uh, written down there and a lot of stuff's down there in case you have any questions if you want to ask me by all means thank you so so much for watching um it means the world to me and i will see y'all very soon bye